right, boys, a gameplay I didn't think I was going to be doing today because I wasn't too impressed with Josh Jobs' last card, but they made this card juice. They gave him a great X Factor. They gave him a new ability that he is actually the only quarterback in the game that could possibly get it right now. We'll go over all of that before I get into the gameplay. But if you enjoy videos like this, I do gameplays on all the new cards. We're doing Calvin Johnson today. Obviously, Josh Jobs, the astronaut, and then oh, I almost said Lord Sailor. LT, LaDainian Thomas, and that video is coming up next. So make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn on those notices so you never miss any gameplay. And let's get right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMa, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. Josh Dobbs, the Pastronaut. I saw a lot of people angry about this card when I posted it on the YouTube forum thing so you guys could see the new cards coming out tomorrow or today. A lot of people were angry because he's a, a benched player getting new cards. There's still a lot of good cards. I understand that, but I'm not mad at the actual card. I like the name as well. He is good. 93 speed, very fast. He has great accuracy. He's great stats across the board. Obviously tall enough to... Not get dinged on the line of scrimmage. But when we come over here, yes, he gets Fearless built in. Fearless, a.k.a. Crusoe. It starts on, and I believe it's three plays off. Yeah, you can see right here. It is three plays off, or it might be five plays off. I'm, I'm, I don't really know what the difference between Sim and Comp. Is Sim like solo battles and Comp is like online? So I think it's five plays on, five plays off. So Fearless is cool to have, although it's not as good as it was in past years. Still nice to have, but obviously gift wrapped. But he gets Pass Lead Elite, the only quarterback in the game that gets it. And if you do not know what Pass Lead Elite is, it is Sefi Elite, but it also works on the run. So normally with Sefi Elite, to get that fast velocity throw through the air, you had to set your feet before you threw the ball. Now you can do it on the run. And you guys know a lot of people know some glitchy rollout schemes right now with like screens and RPOs. Josh Jobs might be a demon there. And then yes, you can stack Howrah Master. I am using no gunslinger, which is a little bit scary. He does get it. Which actually, now that I think about it, I, so I just want to show to you guys, he does get Howrah Master. So if you like Howrah Master, he does get that stack. I don't particularly use it. So I'm going to use gunslinger. But it's there if you need it. I will say he does have the same release as Tua, as many of you guys know. It's not the best release in the world, but you are getting an insane X Factor new ability. But I think this stack right here is still really good enough too. And also you get to save AP. So I think I can go spend, yeah, I can go spend another AP on something else. Let's go do that and then get into a game. Game number one, and you can see, yes, great picture of my Josh Jobs card right there. So we're definitely the OA team because I do not have those cards or I don't have Randy Moss. So hopefully we get the ball first, man. I really am excited. I, I think this ability of Pass Lead Elite in good schemes, like if you run any scrambling RPO, he could be even better, man. I truly really think this could be a glitchy card, especially with the speed he has too. Probably not the best play to start with, especially, yeah, against Dollar. I should audible out of this. The read option, man. Uh, it's just not going to work. Oh, man, he's sending the dogs over here too. That was a terrible play. Let me calm down here a little bit. See, and I think this guy is a perfect example why I don't want to run the Howard Master and also Sefi lead stack or pass lead lead stack yet because they haven't given it to us on a good release yet. This release, I will say, is not the best in the world. If you run that stack and you you could pick up every blitz, fine, that's that's good. I send out five a lot, and you can see this guy is all out screaming, right? It'd be difficult, and he has a flat zone KO. I might have just ran into the only man in the world with flat zone KO. I swear I say that every time I play it, but all right, let me lock in here. Should be a good matchup to test how good or how nice we truly like the card because we are playing a guy run the A-gap blitz. As you guys know, it is by far the best blitz in the game right now. Let's see if the Pastronaut can defeat it. He is sending it again right there. And actually, Calvin kind of got bagged. Honestly, Calvin normally fries right there, but we do have a fourth and one. Let's see if we can convert. Luckily, we do also have that fearless because, I mean, that release was really, really slow on that underneath ball. And we're just going to throw it underneath, baby. Let's go, man. He's getting the ball out fast in the flats. And actually, Tony G almost took that to the crib. We were so close. This looks like it's probably going to be a little bit of a sweaty game real quick, man. He's going to continue to send that blitzer. He is subbing out blitzers as well. But if he's going to leave the hard flat, I'll take a Tony G feast game every day. He's now subbed in three different A-gap blitzers. Now, I think he's had Campbell in there. He's had, I think he moved Gronk over there for a play. I don't even know. And now he has Eric Berry. It looks like he's actually not sending it for once. Can I get this high ball back here? This would be a crazy laser. Come on, man. Amari Cooper hauls it in from the past. Let's go, baby. Wonder if the quick snap verts will be there. I don't think it's going to be, especially the way he's been playing lately. Yeah, it looked like it was never going to be there. That was kind of a wasted play. He actually clicked on and gave me a chance. We got back to the line of scrimmage. I'll take that little baby play. We need our wide receivers to get a little bit of separation against this A-gap real quick. Please, Zay Flowers, wide open, but we missed it, man. No fearless on. It's a little tough, man. You got to time the release when you're using a worse release. I, I'm i going to be honest with you guys. Without, I don't think you can run the Howard Master Sefi lead stack. With how many people run this A-gap blitz and how easy it is to run, I don't know if it's worth it. The release is not good enough to not run gun. I mean, you can see I'm struggling with Gunslinger against the A-gap blitz. So I don't know, boys. You guys got to let me know. But I think we can get this underneath. Kamari? Mari Fullen! Fourth and inches, that's tough. 
I just watched it back and we literally fell into the end zone. Like we actually fell into the end zone. I'm gonna double team this guy real quick and we're gonna run it to the weak side. Let's see if he goes to the left. Come on, man. Payne Hill is get us in. That's what you want to see. Let's go, boys. Come on. Pastronaut didn't get a touchdown, but he led us the way. We're playing, like I said, we're playing a super meta defense right now. The A Gap Blitz is the best defense in the game. Let's see if we can win against it. Ooh, we got some Drew Brees action. I see that guy. Oh, he has Calvin as well. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are going to be picking up that Calvin card. He is way too good. And he just threw it into a hard flat, boys. Come on, yeah. You got to make him pay. You, I mean, at least drop the ball in a situation like that. We can't give him a catch there. All right, we got to be careful of Calvin. I mean, we at least we have peppers on him. No, we don't have any pick artists over there, which is tough. But let's see. And right at us. Oh, he's going to be too good. That card, uh, he's going to be a menace. I mean, I, I, that's fine defense. I'm completely fine with playing defense like that every time. And there we go. We bait it underneath. Come on, man. This guy's not a bad player, so I'll take any stop we can. This might be a game. If we can't score seven right here, we might have to take three. We are playing Mutt Champs now. As you guys know, Mutt Champs actually has a little bit of value now because it is a new season. I normally record it in here because who cares, but now yeah, I have to win. I want to just send out five, but I really don't trust this release enough. I feel like I'm going to throw a really bad ball. And he keeps on sending the heat, so I kind of got to take my dumpers. I'll take it every day, though. Look at Tony G. We almost swerved our way to the end zone. This dude is sending the dogs every single play. I just need him to play coverage once so I can just throw a little lays, you know? Like this. Come on, man. The Pastronaut finally on the board. We're up 14-0 to in a pretty sweaty matchup. I'll tell you, honestly, I went into this game with I, I I gotta stop doing that with like some cards I'll go into games with bad vibes where I'm like oh, I don't really like him I didn't like his last card but right now I'm enjoying it and I wish the fearless was on a little bit longer against the blitzer but that right there finally he didn't blitz we lays come on now, do you guys like games like this more I feel like these games are a lot more entertaining during like gameplays right like where you're playing meta on meta and you can see the card in real real action and honestly you can see that even against the best defense the best blitzes in the game. He can still make plays, and we're still sitting up 14-0, to man. I'll take it, and this guy is giving Calvin the ball almost every play. He might be recording himself a Calvin gameplay after all. Gotta watch it, man. Normally, I'll put a vert hook on the left side, but it looks like he wants to keep targeting the underneath. And Nick Bosa, man, having himself a game as well. We're holding Drew Brees at 3 of 5, 21 yards and an interception. We get one more stop. I'm feeling good. I would typically say I feel good being up 14-0, to but you never know with a high-powered offense. And I don't even know if I can continue to say high power. Okay, finally he gets it. Our mid-read, we did have a zone there. Sometimes it gets turned around. I love Carmichael. He is really tall, but sometimes he dumbs out right there. That's one of them. That's exactly where I put him. You guys know I always run a mid-read like that, and sometimes he'll just get sucked out of it, which is like, I know I'm in match, so it follows some random stuff, but right there, I need him to help us a little bit more. And look at our guy, Darrell Reeves. I send the doll. Actually, no, I'm going to continue to only send one corner. Darrell Reeves might get tired here soon, especially with that new patch. Let's see what he has over here. Darrell Reeves is eating, dude. We got to run a different play here. Dude, you know, another thing, too, is I would be keeping this card. I probably won't keep him because my theme team is really, really hard with fillers. But I wish he got brown skin. He would be on my team if he got brown skin. He does not get brown skin. Although he played on the Browns, he never took a snap for us. But he was on our team during the regular season for a while. And I actually can't move my character right now. Uh... I can't even control. I just, I swear I'm not even playing the game. I swear I'm not even playing. I just got an interception not playing the game. I couldn't even move my character at all. I don't know if my controller unplugged or something. What's going on? Yeah, I'm having, I had some controller issues right there. I got a new charger and it like unplugged on me and it just did it again right there. We might already have some issues with this brand new controller charger. That is tough, man. Xbox problems, boys. Xbox problems. We are making this guy work, though. There's no better feeling than playing just a good game of Madden, dude. There's no better feeling, especially with a, against a pretty solid defense. Now he's giving a 6-1. Let's see if the passion I could... Oh, he came through. Ah, come on, man. We need one more touchdown at least. We only have one. I have a belief he's probably going to send everybody right here once again. I don't know. It looks like he is. He has Brandon Graham in coverage, but I also realize he is leaving touchdowns. I see it, man. I saw it last second. All right, he's backing off everybody. Can we find ourselves getting open? I got to check this down, man. He's playing some solid D. I'm going for this. Come on. There's no way I don't go for this. Got a wide open touchdown, but he just blitz us off the edge, and I also just don't trust the release enough. Let's see if we can get anything going around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Amari. Oh, yeah, Amari. There, Josh stops two touchdowns. I mean, he is literally sending the heat every single play, and we are still throwing the ball right in his face. The release isn't like, it's not William Perry's or Joe Burrow's, but it's getting it done, man. You could definitely use this card and dominate, especially with that cool ability stack. I don't know how good it would be without Gunslinger because I feel very, very tense every time I throw the ball with Gunslinger.
Sitting up 21 to zero, I'm already feeling comfortable about this game, especially with the way our offense is moving. But I feel like one more stop in the game is over as we just get it right there. Let's run into it. Maybe he doesn't quit. Maybe we can get one more touchdown with the pass or not before we chew it out. Let's see. All right, looks like he's staying in. No, there it is. I knew it was coming, man. I mean, 144 yards and two touchdowns and also another successful drive in the first half when we scored a Payne Hillis or the first drive we scored a Payne Hillis. That was a good game, man. I like that. And like I said, we played a really heavy bla uh, blitzer. I like it, man. All right, boys, did you guys like what you see right there? I don't know. I think it's okay. Like I said, it'd be a little bit nerve-wracking if I were to play a guy that blitzed me like that all game and maybe had a little bit better coverage on the back end. But like I said, if you weren't the Howard Master and also Sefi Lee Combo and you want Fearless, this would be a really good stack for you. But you got to be a bit, little bit careful. The release is obviously a little bit down, but still a solid card, fun card, and obviously the Pastronaut card art is really cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the Calvin Johnson video. Check out the LT video we're posting next. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.